So the Hubble tension refers to the idea that you can measure the local expansion rate of the universe, which we call the Hubble constant, after the person who discovered that the universe was expanding. And we can also predict what the local expansion rate should be today by measuring data from the very early universe, fitting a cosmological model to that, and extrapolating that forward in time to the present day. So we have one prediction from fitting to the early universe, and we have one local measurement. And if our understanding of the cosmological model is correct, those two measurements, the measurement that was a prediction and the measurement that was actually a local measurement, they should agree. And they don't. And we call that the Hubble tension. And if it doesn't turn out that this is due to simply some misunderstanding about this very complicated data, it could signal that we have a missing ingredient in our knowledge of the cosmological model. There are possible hypotheses for what that extra ingredient could be, but none of them are really that compelling. So it is a basic, like, here be dragons kind of situation. It's not a dead end. It's actually signaling that there is a mystery to be solved here. And the mystery is that these two data sets must somehow agree or else we must fit something else into the cosmological model. And that mystery is driving actually new ways of measuring this Hubble tension and new local ways of measuring the Hubble constant in the first place. For example, by studying the mergers of gravitational wave sources. And that can reveal whether either or both of those previous measurements were correct or not. And maybe give a third measurement to be an orbiter among them.